Okay. So, as you can probably see, the belt's off, which I did that so I could uh, <clears throat> trim it over here. Out on the job and uh, water pump locked up. So, if you're seeing this, you've probably seen Andrew change this out, so ain't much to uh, film here, but I'm going to film it anyway. And uh, see if we can get this thing apart. I called, got a water pump on the way. Um, it's a remanufactured from Cat. I'm going to pick it up this week. But I'm going to try to get this one off for the core charge. It looks like either my, I think it's the mufflers rusted out i was gonna say maybe it's an exhaust gasket but i believe it's the muffler need to fix that when i get home but <clears throat> anyway to finish this job i need to swap out this water pump obviously so let's uh let's get this thing taken apart I'm pretty sure that's supposed to turn. Yep. Alright. So, can we get the fan off? I believe we can. Well, that radiator needs clean. Tell you that. I ain't having no troubles with it heating up or anything. It's pretty dirty. It's being up a little bit. Looks like the fan's been into it before. I don't know what happened there. Well, there's four bolts out of it. I don't feel any more. Let's see if we can't get her knocked off of there. Lord, hopefully we can get that thing out of there. Maybe we need to take the water pump out first. Try to knock that thing apart. Uh, 
Okay, that's not gonna work either, so. We're gonna have to get the fan out. <sighs> yeah, I have no idea how that's gonna work. Where that shroud can come out of there. Yeah, let's take that shroud out. Well, that ain't gonna work because I don't have a wrench with me. I don't know if my adjustable will fit back in there. There's one on the side of that shroud. Let's try that. See if I can get that. Yeah, I lost my adjustable somewhere. Shocking. Well, can am for the win for putting this little generic wrench in the toolkit. See if it works. Not there. I doubt it's going to work here either. Oh, oh. There's one loose. Oh, number two. I'm going to have to take the other side cover off. For the engine guard. Oh, that's hot. I feel like that one come loose too. Yep. Yeah, where's number four hiding? Yeah, let's just go take the other side cover off. So I trimmed this thing from where I actually parked it um, after the, the water pump locked up. I don't know, it's a few hundred yards away just so it ain't sitting beside the road that, you know, people could see it because uh, I'm going to have to leave it overnight. But um, it was completely cooled off because I let it sit all day. It happened this morning. So... I trimmed over here and now it's hot and the water where I've got the water pump loose is dripping out. It's like super hot because I watched my temperature gauge and as soon as it got to the green is is just where I stopped and parked. I didn't want to get too hot. So um yeah, it's pretty darn warm dripping out of there on my hands. So I'm gonna take the other side loose and let some of this water drip out and uh hopefully don't scald myself to death. All right, let's get it. I'm amazed that this little open it and wrench uh, broke these loose. I mean, I guess they wasn't super tight, but still. Oh, that's hot. Now, I don't know if there's going to be enough room to actually get this thing out of here. It's not looking like it. I'm still going to end up having to take the uh, shroud off, I think. Dang it. Let's see if we can't get this poor little boxed in wrench to break that loose. Oh, 
very well made. there's going to be enough room to get the bolt out but we can always hope Uh-oh. The one hiccup in the whole system right here. Man. That was going to work so good. And so even though the shroud is still uh, bouldered on the other side, I'm going to try to get the fan out from behind it like this. Don't know if there's enough room, but I'm hoping there is. Well, we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> What do you think of that? See if we can't get the water pump from the other side. Well, that's a good sign. Oh, that's hot still. the pump and I guess it just seized up because it won't turn so yeah got her out wasn't as much trouble as I thought all right let's uh put some of this stuff up clean up some of our mess and uh get out of here and go get us a pump
closer today. I went and got the remanufactured water pump. It's a it's a cat remanufactured. If anybody's wondering at the time of this video, this is close to four hundred dollars with tax, um, and it's over four hundred dollar core charge. So hopefully you got a core. Um, so we'll try to throw this thing on real quick. The sun's getting low in the sky. Um, took me most of the day to get over there and get this and get back home. So the closest cat place is uh, about an hour and a half from me. So a little bit of a drive, but got it and ready to go back on. So let's get this on. Now, hopefully that gives us some room. If I can just feed this pump down in there. And I gotta make sure the pump is turned the right way. There is a top and a bottom on it. Well, that's done it. Let me go to the other side and get this pump in. Should've just come over here to start, look at this. Uh, now I ain't gonna drop it. Look at that sunset. Nah. So we can get that fan back on there now. Well, the pulley then the fan. I wonder how fun it's gonna be to line them bolts up. Okay, so that's lined up. I'm sure it's not going to stay that way when I start gouging around with that fan in there, but let's give it a try. Got one lined up right off. Sweet. Uh, not much room from this side, so let's go back to the other side because I can actually reach around behind the behind the shroud on the other side. Wow. 
Wow. I'm not going to say it yet. We'll wait till we get all four bolts in. Yeah, let me say it. That was easier than I thought. Well, let me try quarter inch drive ratchet. Let's see if that fits better. Yeah. We'll snug them down with this and then give them the final torque with the 3 8 ratchet. Whew! Them radiator fins are rough on your knuckles. Well, you might be wondering why I keep putting these uh, side covers back on but when I'm just going to take them right back off and work on it again. But I don't want them to grow legs and walk off. Stuff kind of has a tendency to do that around here. I hate that, but it is what it is. that bolt let's see where it went yeah looks like we're gonna be down one bolt We'll look for that tomorrow. I mean, it ain't like somebody couldn't take those off, but I mean, it's a little easier just to pick them up, take off if they're sitting there, so. All right. Let's pick up some SMS and get out of here. So it's another day. Take the side covers off, got a belt. So I've went everywhere trying to find a belt and this is the only one I can find. It's a 62 inch. I've gotten a 61 inch, that's what the guy said it was, but I believe it's a little bit longer. So a 62 or 62 and a half probably, if that's even a measurement for belts, but it's a little bit longer. So we're gonna try this. I don't know what the heck's flying around there, but it sounds pretty mean. So let's take this cover off and see what comes out. Get this thing together.
I don't see nothing. I hear him though. Hopefully this one fits. So now we got a belt that fits. A big bumblebee, that's what it was. Makes me feel a little better having a, a new belt on it. All right. Awesome. I believe all that's next is the, the guards. I'm going to try to put this bolt back in the side. I don't know if I can get it in there or not, but. If not, heck with it. Uh, it just a middle bolt for that shroud. I believe it'd be all right without it. So let's uh, get these guards back on. Huh? Another tight fit. Had me worried for a second. Oh, I'd have to go in for the other side to get that bottom bolt in the, that holds these two uh, guards together. So you might be wondering why I'm already tightening all these up and I haven't filled it up with antifreeze or started it up. <coughs> the answer is, not that I'm overly confident in my work, it's just I'm really hoping it's fixed and I can get on with this. Okay. Yeah, I believe I'm ready to put some uh, water in it and see what happens. A little nasty done in there. But nothing we can do about it right now. Let's get some antifreeze in it. Now, I didn't bring a funnel. That was uh, probably good thinking on my part. You know, less to carry and all. Look at there. Little baby tick. I don't know where he went now. So let's fire this thing up and uh, wait for it to drop. Get us another one ready here just in case. Oh, looks good. Should we do the old Diesel Creek uh, contact?
Contact. <laughs>